Yeah. Here they come. They're about to challenge the boy. I do love Lindsay Lohan. I love her more now, though, because she's a little more trashy. No offense. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm a Vietnam time. veteran, all right? Oh, my God, girl. Shoot your shot. Shoot or shoot, dog. <laughs> shoot or shoot. I love your shirt. I Where'd like you get it? Oh, my God. Shirt. Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee's Veterans React. I'm Richard Ryan, and today I'm joined by Justin Governall and Jack, Jack Manford, Mandeville. Mandeville the first. Sorry. <laughs> well, this is going to be a fun one because this is going to be Marines react to chick flicks. <laughs> it just worked out perfect. Yeah. I got to say, on my first deployment, some of my fondest memories was watching Riding in Cars with Boys on my buddy's computer. Oh. That's my dad. All we would do was make it out. And I never go past second base with a guy I just met, which means nothing below the waist. Literally took me out of where I'm at. Yeah. Then we got in a firefight. I also remember uh, in Iraq, the first time I was there, we had one small TV for a whole platoon. And we don't have any movies unless they sent them to us. And they sent the notebook. Hey, you look paying attention here. to anything that's been happening. I guess movie. not. I think I must have misread all of those signals. Yeah, I guess you did. And when somebody <laughs> said, you guys want to watch, you know, this or the notebook. And then I'm like, what's the notebook? And everybody just turned and they looked at me like, you tell me when I'm being an arrogant son of a bitch. And I tell you when you're being a pain in the ass. They forced me to watch it on our day off. And then we're done. They turn the lights on and like three Marines are like, legitimately crying, like tear running down their face. I'm like, what? Rachel McAdams has that effect on people, you know? Yeah. I want all of you forever, you and me, every day. <laughs> We've all lived through the notebook though, so, minus the So war. we'll just start with Mean Girls then. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Why'd you pick this one? I'm just a big fan of Tina Fey. Sometimes older people make jokes. This is the definition of an instant classic. I know, right? Lacey Chabert, I think her name is. That was my first official crush I ever had a, as a boy. She was on that Party of Five show. No, 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 no. I, I can't take this, Bailey. I mean, you can't do this anymore. And then I remember, I'm about the same age as her when this movie came out and, you know, she had turned into a nice young lady. I. Um, <laughs> Did some things on deployment. I don't think my father, the inventor of toaster strudel, would be too pleased to hear about this. That I'm very proud of. Oh, okay. You, you a Lilo, Lilo fan? I do love Lindsay Lohan. I love her more now, though, because she's a little more trashy. No offense. <laughs> but, you know. You got a type. I got a type, right? And she looks like she would ruin my credit and my life. Wrong. He was so wrong. I've definitely watched Mean Girls by myself before, right? I always bring up, we wear pink on Wednesdays. <laughs> on Wednesdays, we wear pink. And they're like, haha, how do you know that line? And I'm like, nah, everyone knows that line. Well, I, think <laughs> the, I think the power of this movie is that any male who's ever had a sister or just gone to high school, they can't necessarily relate to it from a female perspective, but they've witnessed it themselves. Yeah. Like, everybody recognizes this kind of behavior. Katie, do you even know who sings this? Um, the Spice Girls? <laughs> I love her. She's like a Martian. Like, girls will say, I like oh, your no, shirt. Don't take this as an opportunity yeah. to trash talk me. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Girls will be like, I saw you just yeah, scoping you up me down, yeah. beat my lip, you know? No, they're like, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? I love your shirt. Where did like you get it? Oh my God. Shirt. Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. It's very black vintage. Rifle, love black rifle. Vintage. So adorable. I'm going to turn around and be like, I hate, yeah. I hate black rifle. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Amy Poehler. Happy hour is from four to six. <laughs> Again, yeah, a comedic genius. Is there alcohol in this? <gasps> Oh God, honey, no. What kind of mother do you think I am? <laughs> Why do you want a little bit? This is one of those movies too, you can watch over and 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 Ew. <laughs> over and over what, what, Why is your saliva so milky? Sorry, I got some CTE <laughs> from the war. Oh my God, I remember this. Ugh, I haven't looked at that in forever. Here, check it out, Katie. It's our burn book. Dude, a burn book. Imagine they made one of these in today's day and age with cancel culture. I think that's the whole point of a burn book is to cancel classmates you don't like, right? What is the burn book? So we cut out girls' pictures from the yearbook and then we wrote comments. Trang Pack is a grotsky little biatch. Still true. It's them talking shit about all their classmates and everything like that. Yeah. Janice Ian Dyke. 
and then what's gonna happen is Regina's gonna find Regina's the she's the one pushing the burn book. That's funny. Put that in there. <laughs> oh no. And then one of the other girls find out she, that girl right there, the goth chick, you're probably into her, finds out she's in the burn book. <laughs> Those bitches. Will this minimize my pores? No. And it just creates chaos. Okay. Classic mean girl. But again, Imagine in today's day and age where you have to accept everybody for what they are. Because it's nice to do. Yeah, just being yeah. inclusive is Wait. nice. Damn, you are so lucky you have us to guide you. Uh, who's that? Is that Rachel McAdams? Rachel McAdams. Yeah. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. You all have got to stop calling each other sluts and whores. It just makes it okay for guys to call you sluts and whores. Dude, all of them though, look at this. Dude, I'm at her 18, where was she at when I was in high school? And her, and everyone at this party. No one told me about the slut rule, so I showed up like this. And her. I don't ever even recall having <laughs> Halloween and her. parties. Hey, why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. Like oh, that dude. when I was in high school. Dude, well, you're from a border town. Bro, you partied your ass from, off before you I'm were from 12. Mexico, or I'm from Laredo, Texas, right? And I used to be like, bye mom, I'll be back. I'm going to so-and-so's house. And I would legitimately walk across to the Mexican border and I'd be in Mexico like, hey, primo, <laughs> uh, bucanas y, y soda. And they're like, love it. Can I get you something to drink? Dude, ordering like- Why did you just puff your chest out? Because that's Hispanic, right? Hey, primo, get the primo! That means Buchanan's and- Also on 5'5", dude. Like, let's be real here, dude. That's why I puff my chest out, dude. Really? 15, dude, ordering drinks. Boom, getting hammered. What? This has nothing to do with Gretchen Wiener. Nothing to do with, nothing to do with them. This was it. Regina said she would talk to Aaron for me, and now she was. Oh, he was a dreamy boy, dude, that everybody wanted. Who's that? That dude. I'm not gay, but like, if I were, I guess I'd do him. If he's over 18. How could Janice hate Regina? She was such a good... <gasps> what? Dude, I love all of them. I seriously would have dated all of them. <laughs> oh, I remember what happens here. Yeah. What happens here is... What the right time. time, it's the right time. And then she kills it. Your night away. A jingle bell time is the swell time. You know we're riding <laughs> in a one horse sleigh. Hey! Anyway. Do you think Lindsay Lohan might actually watch this React video and contact me on social media? No, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I would love, I love to. I would love to. Lindsay, I, what's your I handle? Take, take that as a challenge. At, Everybody. At Justin Governor, please share, tag her in the comments, right? Lindsay Lohan, I want to take you to the Marine Corps ball. Look how red she is. You love him, and he totally complimented you. It's one of those movies you can watch over and over and over and oh, over I and over and well, over. Why did you pick now and then? Oh, okay. When I first discovered pot when I was 15 years old, I went all in. And I spent an entire summer inside my parents' garage on a couch watching the VHS of Now and Then and getting high. Gross. He's always picking his nose and eating his boogers. So this movie just has a lot of nostalgic memories I'm, for me, which the movie is about nostalgia. It's about looking back in your childhood and remembering a more simple time. Where you're buying a dime bag for a dime, man. <laughs> And all these young ladies, Dora Birch is still working. She was in uh, American Beauty. You want to see the most beautiful thing I've ever filmed? Christina Ricci, she's still mm. knocking out of the park doing okay. goth girl films. The young lady in the pigtails had a heroin overdose. What? Yeah. What is the movie about entirely? It's basically Stand By Me for girls. Let's find out how he died. Oh, okay. And uh, it's really great when you're high. The suspicious lack of details surrounding Dear Johnny's death led us to the one person we knew could help us find out more. Janine Garofalo. Oh, I remember her. Was she a comedian? Yes. We need your help. Yeah, it's just one of those throwback to the 60s, a simpler time. We want to find out how he died.
Uh, even cities. though it wasn't a simpler time, people were getting assassinated left and right. Students were taking over universities and cities were on fire. The 60s? And, yeah. Bro, that had to have been great. Minus the whole war thing, dude. Free yeah, love, sex whole... everywhere. Veterans Vietnam. love sex. Don't you love yeah. sex, Jack? Bobby <laughs> Kennedy, Martin Luther King. The spirits haunt the living for a purpose. I just don't like it when people glamorize the, you know, Making the it good to the old moon? days. It makes oh. no sense. There was, there's never been any good old days in the history of humanity. We're living this them now, dude. planet has always been a fucking cesspool of ignorance and hate and fucking cruelty. Come on, this is getting out of hand. Here they come, they're about to challenge the boy. Sand, sand Girl lot. power time. Sandlot, right? right okay, Mama Birdie, you the can do it. Run, Mama steps up to the plate. Is that a simpler time for you where girls weren't allowed to go play baseball with the boys? Right. Come on, Roberta, touchdown. Is she snorting the pixie sticks? He's got game, dude. Hello, dear. She's probably like, get lost, nerdo. You're short, don't talk to me. Who are you kidding? Girls can't play softball. Here she comes, little girl power time. What did you say? I said girls can't play softball. What you doing? Standing up to the bully boy. Why don't you go home and play with your dogs? Boom! Bro, you know what this reminds me of? When I was a kid, I don't even know what happened, but some kid was messing with me, right? And some girl thought that I was being a bully. Newsflash, I'm not the biggest guy in the world. I'm not that huge. This chick, she ran over to me and she's like, leave him alone. And I was like, what are you talking about? And it was before school started and there was a ton of people. And she gave me a wedgie, bro. She lifted me off the ground and she twirled. She'll probably comment on this. Her name is right? But yeah, she swung me around, dude. And I was so scared. She gave me a wedgie copter, dude. Boom, boom. And then she threw me and I fell down and I had to like act like I was laughing, like, ha ha, I'm playing it off. But in reality, I was scared shitless, dude. Somebody needs to teach you to act like a girl. In every 90s nostalgia movie, there's always got to be the hitchhiker. How is he not drifter. creepy? He's like hanging out with a bunch of young girls. Hey. Hey. If I saw that, if I walked up today, I'd be like, hey. Are you in the army? Was. Vietnam? Bro, what are you doing? Hey girls, push away. Yeah. Go that way. Was. Did you kill anyone over there? Don't Bro, be scared, I'm a Vietnam time. veteran, all right? Bro. <laughs> Imagine you walked up on the, have a seat, young lady. Yeah. But we're winning, right? Nobody's winning. You girls want to go for a ride in my truck? Yeah. Like, sir, there. Oh! Brennan Fraser. Encino Man! So, Stanley, how's your mother? He's giving them cigarettes, you piece of shit. I was 11 when I smoked my first cigarette. Smoking stunts your growth. Laredo. Laredo, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it goes. I was also drunk when I was 11. Terrible. You know what the thing too is? The person who wrote this film was like, I'm gonna put this in the, f in the film. I remember that one time when I was a kid, this drifter gave me and my 12 year old friends some cigarettes. What a wholesome experience that was. <laughs> Smooth. I'm pretty sure he is reliving Vietnam with a bunch of children right now. Shut up. Get what you heard about it. Get what you saw. Even the people who were over there lied about what they'd seen. We're done. Also, in Iraq, kids smoke cigarettes. Why don't you move to Iraq? <laughs> Why did I? <laughs> Why don't you? I mean, simpler times, right? <laughs> Pete? Leave with my family. His wife died, his, his child died. They're dead as shit. It's a terrible thing that happened to them. I'm sorry. When you're in your garage, high as fuck at three in the morning, I've wasted a lot of years. As a 15 year old, this scene can really add to any paranoia you're already experiencing. I'm mostly afraid to face myself. Also, who goes to the cemetery to talk to dead people? That's not weird. I'm scared too. Yeah, because there is no afterlife for one. I don't believe in that. Actually, I actually used to believe in religion and then I joined the military. But I would go to church every Sunday in boot camp because they were like, if you don't go to church, you gotta hang out with us, all the drill instructors. So I'd go and then I'd be crying. They'd be like, open the eyes to my heart, Lord. <laughs> I was crying and people must have thought that I was like crying to God, like, hey, save me, dude. But in reality, I was like, I fucking hate it here. This sucks. <laughs> also, the drill instructor makes me get naked when I get in trouble. <laughs> I'm not making that up. That's the thing is, true. That's real. Hundred percent. They did it. They used to yeah. make us get yes. naked. Yes. Yes. They turn all the they turn half Dude. the showers on super hot, half the showers on super cold. They'd line a hundred eighteen to twenty two year old men up butt naked and make them run through the showers with oh, their hands I've up. Got, I've got a worse story. It has nothing to do with the movie at all. I don't know. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Listen it's to like, my. And they're like, this is training. Dude, for what? Dude. 
One time. <laughs> when are we going to war with a yeah. nudist colony, Dude. man? <laughs> One time, a kid started laughing, and the drill instructor was like, you want to laugh? You want to be gay? Boy, get naked. Get naked right now. Because that makes sense, right? It makes perfect sense, right? And then he made him get naked, and we all kind of were standing there, and he's like, you know what? All of you, get naked. Get naked right now. And we're like, aye, aye, sir. Stuff's just all in the shower, dude, and I'm covering my privates. And he, he's like, tighter, tighter, aye, aye, sir. And I'm like, aye, aye, sir. No, dude, seriously, they not, make you smash like, up like on this, each like other this, naked. Right? I was like this. Yeah. I was like this, dude. I was like this. I was like, oh. No, anyway, uh, I'm not even joking. Like, it seems funny, but I'm doing it. I'm like, sir, I don't see how this is conducive to finding the weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> sir, and finding Osama bin Laden, sir. And he was like, put your hands in the air right now. And I was like, aye, aye, sir. Then, and, my, dude, like, literal, literal yeah. penises were touching my penis. Dude, like, blah, 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 Hundred young men yes, lined up in yes. tidy whites. They made us drop our tidy whites. bad, bro. Go to the end of the squad bay, throw yeah. all of our underwear into one pile, run back to our bunks naked, stand there, and then they gave us ten seconds to go back and grab a pair yeah. of underwear, which nobody's getting and a pair that dude, they that were wearing. Was, that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part is that some of those penises were uncircumcised. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has to see no, that, dude. You know Nobody has to see. I don't know what that has to do with the movie at all, but things will happen in your life that you can't stop. But that's no reason to shut out the world. Part of maturing life is realizing that with a circumcised penis, you're part of the minority in the world. He gave me the only gift he could, the lesson it had taken him a lifetime to learn. And you're the one with the weird penis. The yeah. majority of the world is uncirked. Yeah, it's kind of like tall people. Oh, Legally Blonde. One of the reasons I wanted to come here tonight was to discuss our future. Are we gonna watch the courtroom scene? I am fully amenable to that discussion. That was one of the biggest LOLs I've ever had in a theater. Good. Well, you know how we've been having all kinds of fun lately? Yeah was watching the courtroom scene where, uh, uh... Reese? Sorry, I was just thinking about the Reese. war. Sometimes I just, I just start thinking about the war. Not the war I was in, like, I watch a lot of World War II documentaries. I was thinking about, uh, you know, how evil Hitler was. What about Legally Blonde made you go there? Yeah, dude, that's weird, <laughs> bro. Honestly, you're Because weird. Reese Witherspoon was married to Ryan Philipp Philippi, who uh, was in the movie oh, dude. Flags of Our Fathers, yeah. playing James Bradley, who was in World War II, which is a war that involved an axis of evil that had Japan, Italy, and Germany, and Hitler was in charge of Germany during World War II. Flags of Our Fathers, go to the ship scene right before the invasion and everything <laughs> you'll see all the guys standing out there and then there's just me flexing my tricep you're, you're in that <laughs> flexing Are you my tricep me? i'm just standing there like this i was like i don't want to be in this one. i don't want to be have we watched this scene react to that shit dude. i was like i don't want to be in this scene have we watched this on best react yet <laughs> i was like i don't want to be in this scene i was like so i'm just gonna do something so i know they'll cut me out <laughs> so i'm just like flexing my tricep <laughs> you made the cut our turk Island X is an ugly, smelly, dirty little scab of rock called Iwo Jima. I'm going home and watching yeah. Flags of Our Fathers right yeah. away. Yeah. And then I'm gonna watch Letters from Iwo Jima because it's important to see the other side story. I completely agree. Do you mind if I grab an RTD real quick? Of course. For anyone watching that's ready to drink, it's provided by Black Rifle Coffee. So, which flavor did you get? Espresso with cream? Camouflage flavor? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think? And I need to be serious. Of course. So why legally bald? Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's a good movie, man. It's a it's an instant classic. I think I we do. should break up. <sighs> what? And Reese Witherspoon is she is a, such a great actress that she can play this total ditz of a, a, a character when you know she's a classy lady. I mean, she graduated yeah. from Harvard, actually. Yeah, she's a smart nah, smart nah, woman. I made that up. She was you... smart enough to divorce that. Fool, Ryan Felipe. I swear, they, they used to say that I looked like him and Justin Timberlake. I just need time to sort things out in myself. And I'd be like, no, I don't. They're so, they're so dumb. And like, you know, in the 90s, he's like, he's so gay. And then I would like bleach my hair and I'll put like the little curls in the front. <laughs> oh, hi. My name is Elle Woods. Oh, this is great right here, the video essay. I'm going to tell all of you at Harvard why I'm going to make an amazing lawyer. The most brilliant part is, hey, she met all the qualifications to get into Harvard, which is having rich parents. Law school? It's a perfectly respectable place, Daddy. Dude, I love her, too. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life. I object. Jennifer Coolidge, uh, again, tremendously talented woman. I've got a package. He's got a package. Yeah. She wants him. Is that Mel yeah. That's Mel Gibson, isn't it? <laughs> Mel Gibson and Luke yeah. Perry's child. How you doing today? Hi. Take it easy.
oh my God, girl, how did you not hit on him? I don't know how, I'm scared, I'm scared. How do I pick up? Oh my God, it's easy, bitch. Oh my God, bitch. Oh, come on, what's the point? Listen, shoot your shot. Shoot or shoot, dog. <laughs> shoot or shoot. Shoot or shoot, bitch. No, they don't, no, they don't. Yes, they do, bitch. Yes, they do, trust me. Listen, listen. I'm gonna show you the bend and snap technique, bitch. Bend and snap. I think I dropped something on the floor that I need to pick up. So you bend. And snap. Dude, imagine girls really did this kind of stuff to pick you up. Instead, they just like play hard to get, like follow restraining orders, call the cops and shit, you know? <laughs> Fucking hate that. Change their numbers, witness protection programs. Like, dude, stop playing hard to get, girl. Good job, everybody. Oh, I love this. Okay, bye. So he denies that he's gay on the stand. Don't stomp your little last season Prada shoes at me, honey. I love what he's wearing, by the way. He must be from San Antonio. From last season. <gasps> Emmett, he's gay. Oh, he denies being gay and this is when it comes out. Gay men know designers, straight men don't. Know what? He did leave a share tape in the pool house one time. What movie did that girl come out in that was next to her? Do you have any proof that you and Mrs. Wyndham were having an affair? Only the love in my heart. Oh yeah, she was in Varsity Blues, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Allie. What are they saying? And how long have you been sleeping with Mrs. Wyndham? Three months. And your boyfriend's name is Chuck. Right. <laughs> okay. Guilty. Okay. Okay, thanks. Silence! Pardon of, part of me, pardon me. Yes, I, Mr. Salvatore. I, I was, uh, I was con confused. Oh, okay, okay, listen, listen to her. I thought you said friend. Chuck is just a friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you bitch! <laughs> They would never write a scene like that these days because it's not a real good was, representation was... of people. Okay, bye. All right, well, thanks, Jack, Justin, for coming out today. And if there's anything that you guys want to want us to watch or react to in future episodes, leave a comment below. And, uh, Jack, why don't you tell everyone what you got going on with Coffee or Die magazine? I have a little advice column in Coffee or Die. Uh, you'll find me on the last page. There's a reason why they put me there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just doing uh, doing my normal hood rat shit with Mr. Jared Taylor and doing nice. these fun bets reacts with you. And, and I go into the office about twice a week just to make it look like you know like i'm working and <laughs> collecting that paycheck yeah. yeah and if you're just google searching black rifle coffee chances are you'll be yeah. retargeted by this man here yeah. in our marketing department. or if you get a video on youtube and you're cruising youtube click the video and also buy stuff because <laughs> no, i make those we're, I make we're not those encouraging stuff. clicking I make, on click, on, click on it please <laughs> molly if you're watching please i, I, I promise I, I work really hard molly we'll see you guys next time thanks